Only in the game just to get my fatty. And need lazy, ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love key top game. Check it out, man. All right. Anyway, so it does look like y'all talking about the course in the last video. We actually talked about Tick. Now, whenever we talked about Tick in the last video, we said while he was pretty much on the stand, he was saying, I don't know a lot and I don't remember a lot. Uh, and then, of course, that caused the actual prosecution them to get a little angry. Uh, you can sense that they was potentially a little angry and made him read the plea agreement that he took. And of course, inside the plea agreement, it did say, hey, man, listen, whenever I get called to the stand, I have to tell the the truth say what i've already said uh and you know can't go outside those lines or it could be perjury anyways well it does look like tick is actually using a method that young thug's lawyer was using like i told y'all whenever thug said that that uh whenever young thug's lawyer uh said that thug and his name stands for truly humble under god well it does look like YSL Tick actually has a tattoo and it's like on the tattoo it actually says BFL now of course the prosecution was thinking that the BFL stood for blood for life uh, because they're obviously trying to attach him to the blood gang that's what a lot of the Rico is about but YSL Tick I told y'all was thinking before he speak you know, I'm talking about with every question he take a little time do a little thinking and then he gives an answer which is okay and perfectly fine that's all in his right to do and it's actually been doing him good thus far because he's been answering the questions and not a way to like potentially try to do no snitching uh, even though some of the stuff that's been said or even also the screed rules say even taking the stand at all saying anything at all is snitching right? but there are exceptions that they say right Right. Anyway, so with him answering these questions like that, and and she pretty much asked him, "Hey, what does that BFL stand for?" And also, I see the F has a star on it. You know, somebody that the five star, obviously, the Blood Gang is always affiliated, officiated, or or recognized by the the red five star. But he actually came out and said the BFL tattoo on his neck stands for Bank First and Last. Now the B actually does have a big money bag in it and he said you know somebody it, it's better to bank first and last worry about the money first and last now she came back and was like hold up hold up hold up so you telling me it don't stand for blood for life no it don't bank first and last you know what i'm talking about so yes tick is actually thinking pretty quick on his feet of why this is happening actually i'm gonna go ahead and play the video for y'all right now yes so it's abbreviated for BFL, so I got the money bag first, so it stands for bank first and last. Basically, put your money first and last. Okay. And it does not stand for blood for life? No. That's why the money bag, I actually got a, that, that's why the money bag right there. Okay. Why is yeah. that red star there? I wanted to add some color to it and... Red is the only color that my body will take because of my dark skin. Anyways, so after listening and watching that video, you can obviously see the star that was on his neck, but then also you can see his answer to the question that she gave and what she was suspecting, you know, talking about it actually was. Anyway, so looks like Blueface and also, you know, talking about NLE Chopper. Uh, Blueface challenged him to a little old boxing match, you know, talking about now the boxing match he challenged him to is because obviously Blueface mentioned him inside of a song, mentioned NLE Chopper inside of a song, something about his girl, his girl say trying to holler him out and all this BS, right? But let's just skip to this part right here. Blueface pretty much said, hey man, stop all the talking, you know, talking about squabble up or shut up. In which, of course, a lot of people was like, hey, man, Blueface actually have had a couple celebrity boxing matches. And the fact that he done had some of them celebrity boxing matches, he might be for real about it. You know what I'm talking about? Let's just see what NLE Chopper got to say and which NLE Chopper did respond. Now, his response, you know what I'm talking about? It wasn't just no cowarding down, backing down, acting scared or nothing like that. You know what I'm talking about? His response was actually, okay, let's do it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and read y'all exactly what NLE Chopper responded to Blueface. Actually, I'll read y'all both what they say, right? So, Blueface said is rap about my Wesley's all year long and mad when I rap about his she decided to indulge in a circus on her own free recognition he, he you know blueface be using words that ain't really words he's I mean it could be a word if you put the words together because they actually are like three main words in this one word so I guess it is a word you know I'm talking about words get created by using a word a lot and then they put in a dictionary or something like that right anyways he said 
uh, to in, she just. She decided to indulge in the circus on her own. Free recognizance. She entered the chat. Nobody safe. I'm not worried about a Muslim vegan crib on schoolyard. Bet that small fry squabble up or shut up. In which, of course, you know, NLE Chopper, who just dropped his 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 movie, I think it's called like Nightmare on, on uh, Elmwood or something like that. Nightmare on, on Elm Street. You know, talking about uh, Cottonwood. That's what it is on Cottonwood. You know, talking about cause he rapping that Cottonwood. Uh, he pretty much came out and said, Let's box, blue face. Who can set up a celebrity boxing match in Vegas? Me and him hit me ASAP. He undefeated versus women. I don't respect him. They'll put his hands on him anyways. So with that being said, maybe they'll box it out. Maybe they won't box it out. It could just be for publicity. A lot of people in my comment section on Key Talk Media, of course, on the Instagram, will say, nah, I think this might be publicity. Some people say who they think will win. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I think Blueface is a little taller, and he done actually had some like boxing matches with gloves and maybe even some training. I don't know. I think he got stabbed inside of a, a boxing place while he was in a boxing or something like that. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, but of course, you know, NLE Chopper got the, you know, he got, it seemed like he got a little dog in him. You know what I'm talking about? So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, it does look like Fulio actually went into more detail on the time that he actually got the drop on NBA Youngboy. And everybody knows he ended up getting a drop. From YKO Sai. XP YKO Sai. I ain't heard from him in a minute. You know, I ain't seen him in the media. But, anyways, the last time I did hear about him, uh, he, pretty much uh, Fulio said that he had just gave him the drop you know, to, my, to where NBA Youngboy was at. Of course, Fulio said he got that drop. He went up to NBA Youngboy, his hotel room. Now, the reason he said he went to that hotel room is because he said something about he heard his name in the song of NBA Youngboy's song or something like that. And therefore, a lot of people started to say, hey, he dissing you. He dissing you, which made him go check that out and see what that dissing was about. You know what I'm talking about? Now, he said, of course, whenever he ran up on him, at first, there was like some yelling and screaming. You know what I'm talking about? Because, of course, a lot of ego from maybe both parties going to be in the way. Uh, but he did end up saying something about why he said that that song wasn't even about him. So, you know what I'm talking about? Good. Nobody died. Nobody got slid on. Uh, I'm sure this is something they could probably just talk and work it out. No blood ain't spilled or nothing like that at all. But anyways, let me know some. So. After hearing what YSL Tick is saying, how is he articulating it? Yes, he took the stand. Yes, uh, he done did some things that people may say ain't screet. Some people that say it ain't screet, but there are also some people that say it is screet. You know what I'm talking about? That's the thing about it, bro. I don't care if you say, man, some people just don't know what snitching is because they just ain't in the screets or this or that. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. There's people that's in the streets that will say this dude ain't snitching, and there's people in the streets that say that he ain't, that he is, and that he ain't. There's literally, there's never a, a, a hundred percent. You still have people saying right now, yes, gonna snitch. No, gonna didn't snitch. You still have that going on right now. There's always gonna be some to say yes, and some to say no. Some to say it ain't, some to say it is. That's just how it's always gonna be. Cause I keep telling y'all, it ain't no written rule book. Literally, it ain't been formalized in a written rule book. It's just formalized in everybody's head. You know, I'm talking about it's formalized in, and okay, you know what this means, that means, right? And that means this as the generation goes on, everything changes. Rules change, all type of stuff change. Think about this. I bet it's some rules that was in the game back when games first started that done probably changed by now. You know, what I'm talking about same with the mafia, same with the cartel. I bet there's all type of rules in a lot of places that. Sometimes they get changed over time. Sometimes it gets bent sometimes. Sometimes it's overlooked at times. There's all type of stuff that's actually happening right now. Whether you think it was snitching or not, whether you think what YSL Tick did was snitching or not, whether you think what Gunner did was snitching or not, what, what do you think anybody? It's a personal, it's going to be a, a, a what do you think about it? You know what I'm talking about? What, not what are you reading on the internet? And that's what the internet's saying. What do you personally think about it? That's what all this is going to come down to, right? Everybody got to have their own individualism. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got no individualism. Then it's going to be groupism. And that ain't even a word, but we're going to put them two words together and make it a word. Groupism. Anyways, let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.